Well, good afternoon. I got the door open today. It's so, such a beautiful day outside, and it's nice and sunny, and uh, today is a Sunday, and um, I was just reading some scripture, and uh, wanted to come out and uh, get into some sunshine, and maybe hopefully bring some words of comfort for people today. You know, before I read... Um, in my passage of scripture, um, the word righteousness comes to my mind. And we all know what the word righteousness means. It actually means God's righteousness. Things that are about him. Um, our righteousness is as filthy rags, but God's righteousness is truth, honor, uh, blessing. Uh, it's everything that you can think of that would go along with the word righteous, um, his righteousness, um, there's many places in the Bible. I was going to look up how many times the word righteousness is in the Bible, and I didn't do that. Uh, we all know that it's there. Um, I think righteousness is one of the key words. It's one of the... It's one of the key words in the Bible is... Everything is about God's righteousness. It's not about our righteousness. Another word that goes along with the word righteousness is the word peace. I believe the word peace goes along with the word righteousness. Um, when I see it in the verse that I'm going to read... It really does make very much sense of the word righteousness along with the word peace that goes with it. God is the God of peace. I'm talking about heavenly peace. I'm talking about peace that will blow man away. Um, I didn't look up how many times the word peace is in the Bible, but I believe that the Bible will witness that he is the author of peace. If he's the author of righteousness, he is also the author of peace. And I'm not talking about just some flimsy peace. I'm talking about genuine peace. There's just nothing better. Nothing better than genuine peace. Um, one thing that goes along with peace, um, I would say it would be joy. Joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. I think Paul even wrote in Galatians 5 and 22, the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy. Can love be in the word righteousness? Sure. God's righteousness is God's truth. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy. Peace. And then we're just the top two of the fruits of the Spirit. I've done a many a message on the fruit of the Spirit. Um, all of this is given to us by the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit on the inside, 
The Holy Spirit is in you. Uh, when a person gets born again, a person has the Holy Spirit on the inside. Now, some Bibles will use the word Holy Ghost, and I don't have a problem with that. There's no confusion with God. If you use the word Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is another word for the Holy Ghost of God. I could simply say that it would be by the Holy Ghost, meaning that the righteousness of God, the, the, the peace of God, and the joy of God is all found in the Holy Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost of God, whichever one you prefer. Not only is it in the Holy Spirit of God, but to me, it's through the Holy Spirit of God. It's by the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, we get the word righteousness in the Bible. It's mentioned many places. Um, he just simply wants us to follow him. Now, some people's going to go and say, well, Ken, we follow in the hymn as, as much as we know how to follow. Well, maybe so to a few people, but what about a few that don't follow him? What about a few people that don't take the time to follow him? He wants us to follow him. He, he wants us to serve him. You know, when you follow something, you you serve something. When you serve something, generally you follow and after something. So, he just wants for us to be able to accept him. And in turn, he accepts us. When we have his righteousness, his peace, his joy, and we have that in the Holy Spirit of God. Now, if you got your Bible, I'm going to be in Romans chapter 14. And there's three verses here that we're going to read over. And you're going to see where I got the idea for this message. In verse number 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Meaning, the kingdom of God, what he's saying is, is not necessarily all about flesh. Meat and drink is something that you drink and you eat meat. It's flesh. What is flesh is flesh. And what is spirit is spirit. And he's saying right here in this verse, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Just the very things I was talking about from the very get-go. Listen to verse number 18. For he that in these things serveth Christ. Now what things is he talking about? For he that in these things. Well, let's look at what the these things was. It was the righteousness of God. It was the peace of God. And it was the joy of God in the Holy Spirit. So when he comes down here and he says, For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Now, you know, men don't always have to approve of everything, but if it is acceptable to God, meaning if I have the righteousness of God, if I have the peace of God, 
if I have the joy of God, that I have it in the Holy Spirit of God, or the Holy Ghost of God, then he's saying right here in this verse, then for he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God. And you know, that's all that really matters, whether men accept it or not. Men that follow after the Holy Spirit should witness a message of the Holy Spirit. But then if you look at verse number 19, let us therefore follow the very same thing I just said a couple minutes ago. Let us follow. Let us therefore, or because of all the things that is in verse 17 and 18, let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace. And I believe he's actually also saying, let us follow after things that make for righteousness and peace and joy, the very things that are above, and things wherewith one may edify another. Well, how am I supposed to edify another? Well, if I have the righteousness of God, and I have the peace of God, and I have the joy of God, then that right there tells you in this verse, and things wherewith one may edify another, I hope that this message today edifies somebody to understand it's not about our righteousness, it's about the Lord's righteousness. It's not about our peace, it's about the Lord's peace. It's not about our joy, it's about the joy that is in the Holy Spirit when we have the Holy Spirit on the inside. So again, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Too many people want to serve God in the flesh. They don't want to serve God in the Holy Spirit. We need to think about that. I hope that you get something from it. Elderly Ministry is how you find me on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and log in there and find a bunch of videos if you want to watch them. You also can go to elderlyministry.com and contact me there. I'll be glad to help you. Anything I can do, be glad to help. Reach out to me if I can help you. Thank y'all.